Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and today Tori 1.4 has been released and I am super excited because there are a bunch of new features that I want to go ahead and experiment with. So you can see here's the new menu, got texture packs apparently, which is pretty cool. I believe there are more achievements now if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so yeah, let's see, crash your first workbench, uh, bridge some comfortable walls over a jungle temple, and if you have a boss, which I apparently haven't done yet, which is quite interesting. But uh, yeah, let's just get into the bosses. So, make a new character. Here's what the new menu looks like. Here we have all the new vanity sets. You can just change. You can take your pants, legs, uh, over um, whatever this thing is, the uh, vest? I'm not sure. Eyeballs. Change your eyeballs. Fun. A uh, wig, and I can actually see all the varieties instead of just going through them manually. Change your gender. And your coat. Uh, copy player template. Randomize player. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's just make a new character, and um, we have an extra uh, kind of a class here. Not really a class, but more of a difficulty setting, if you will. It's the journey. So, journey characters start with extra equipment, can carry. You can only uh, be played in Journey World, so it's pretty cool. So let's name a Nick person and name him Henry. Henry. Probably spell this out. And create a character. So we have Henry here. Uh, and let's make a new world. So here's what the menu looks like. You can actually make seeds. And it looks like the game actually provides you with a world gen, like a world uh, name, which is pretty interesting. Instead of having to just name it World 1, etc, etc. Or it's World 2, World 3. Like that. It also gives you a seed which you can change. Uh, small, medium, large, you can customize them. Journey, I'm going to make a journey world. And then Corruption, Crimson, Master Mode, we'll have to experiment with that a little bit later. But uh, yeah, so let's just create that. And it gives you a little tool tip too, which is pretty interesting. I was playing around a little bit earlier, as well. I had a other journey world, journey character. And uh, I did notice a few things. And I will go into that momentarily. But I'm not going to go over everything in this. I'll have a change log in the description if you're interested in everything that's there. If I remember to put it there. Looks like, I think this is my video video loading screen. Uh, I forgot. I think it was called this one, right? Pretty interesting. Alrighty, so things definitely look different. There are flowers on the ground. These are different. We have a bird on us. I believe that's this little summon guy. Uh, Finch, Staff, Summon Damage. So they spawn with a summon. So if you want to do a summoning class, you can do that pretty easily now. So the flowers, oh, that's pretty cool. They move when you walk over them. That's very neat. We spawn with iron tools instead of copper ones, and we get a hammer, 100 torches, 100 rope, and a magic mirror. Also, we have um, emotes now, so we can display our emotions if we're doing multiplayer or something. Uh, which is quite interesting. I don't know why that was there, because hungry. I guess you just took them out right type. I don't know what the type key is, whatever. Oh, pressing C apparently opens up whatever this is. Duplication menu. There's so many things here. Okay, so let's just let's just start, I guess, playing the game. Chop down trees. I think I turned off the animations for the tree fall, but it's very interesting. Looks like the backgrounds changed as well. Got new uh, things here. Oh, pretty neat. Let's just check out over here if there's anything interesting. We also have. Uh, open power menu. Oh, that's what that is, okay. Power menu, enemy difficulty slider. Well, that's cool. Uh, most of this might be only be accessible by, like, the, uh, the journey mode. I'm not sure. Infection spread. Oh, okay, cool. cool. So, you can have it, it spread uh, slower. Open personal power menu. Okay. God mode. So, this is pretty much, like, modded Terraria. But in vanilla, of an enemy spawn rate slider. Times 10. That's gonna be a mess. Let's just leave that out. Uh, weather. So we can control the weather. Wind. Hopefully, uh, music's not too loud, but I think it might be. Alrighty, so I just turn it down. Uh, rain. Other stuff. Time. Time frozen. Oh, that's pretty cool. Change time to dawn. Morning, dusk, midnight, speed. Uh, 
I don't see a difference. Well, okay, that's cool. We're just gonna put that back to one. Research center, research. Did we put like an item in here? Did I just destroy it? Okay. Wait a minute, okay, so I think, hold up, hold up. We're gonna try something here. Uh, research center, we put in torches. Does that mean we can, dude, duplication. Okay, that's, I probably really overpowered. And I'm, I'm guessing that's only for journey mode because that's a little strange. Also, this is different. These trees somehow spawn differently. Also, we have a lot more range to our axe here. That might just be journey mode as well. Might just make the separate videos for this thing. Let's see here. Anything new in here? Wood. Interesting. Uh, wood apparently in the chest. That's pretty cool. See if there's anything new in down here. Now that we have plenty of torches, we should be able to explore. Anything new? Uh, nope. Doesn't look like it. Go home. Let's explore to the right. So we also have this uh, beast area. So we can see all the enemies we've killed. And we can search them. Cool, cool. All right, this is actually pretty cool. So the hearts have changed as well. We also spawn with wings in the journey mode. So that's cool. Uh, hearts have changed and I have a little golden outline. And we have a new golden outline for the mana stars. Which is pretty oh, what is this? I wanna know what this is. Oh, just regular wood. I guess there's just varieties, which is really cool. Uh, baby finch. Um, I didn't spawn this guy when I was spawning into the world, so I think they fixed the aspect where you respawn with summons, maybe. Cactus. Oh, he's not a real cactus. Oh, dude, they got an oasis here? Or is that just, that's just a different biome? This is really cool. Uh, yeah. We're just gonna see how far I can get also we have benched uh the achievements here let's see if we can make a workbench real quick hey look at that new achievement even though i'm pretty sure that's like one of the first things ever and uh yeah that's cool anything new that we can craft from just the get-go any new items i don't see any plus our tools are already better than what we have well that is fun so there's duplication which i guess is Maybe for like a creative mode kind of thing, like if you press this button, you can pretty much toggle anything you want here. Uh, yeah, you pretty much duplicate, so it's pretty much like a creative mode for Terraria, except you have hearts and you can actually take damage unless you put on god mode. Uh, cool, cool. Also, we don't take damage or fall damage because of the wings, which are pretty cool, but they're not the best wings. They're more or less just like starter wings, just so you don't take fall damage in journey mode. Oh, okay, let's just explore down here a little bit, see if we can find any new enemies, maybe? Uh, do we have a grappling hook? Anything in our accessories? No, nothing there. Camera mode? Okay, oh, it's dark. So, uh, yeah, let's keep going. Um, see if there's anything new in the settings here. Zoom, UI scale, hover controls, interface, map scale. Well, that's cool. We can customize that. Also, looks like we got a new border here for the map. Uh, change the hearts. Oh, cool. Hover text. Uh, dial grid. Pick up text. Placement preview. Mini map border. Oh, that's cool as well. Dang, look at that. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, video. Looks like it's all the same. Cursor. Border colors. Lock on priority. Letter slime. Okay, new settings, controls, anything new? I don't see anything new. But I think the controls got reset because of the update, so you might have to do that, fix those if you're used to certain keybinds. Oh, okay, cool. Um, this is actually really cool. A simple overview. Uh, yeah, so let's see here. Bridge the impenetrable walls of the deck. Can we like... Okay, we can't teleport, which is, I guess, understandable. Can we... Uh, personal powers. Close enemies spawn rate slayer. Increased placement range. Oh, okay, that's, that was the thing I did earlier. God mode. Okay, so god mode just makes it, I'm assuming, so you don't, like, take damage. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so god mode. 
Awesome, awesome. This is really fun. Ooh, that's new, I think. Okay, we don't take damage, which is awesome. Uh, okay, now I don't take damage, and I'm just gonna. How much health do we spawn with? We spawn with 100. Okay, just like normal. Uh, what are these wings called? These are called Quick Fledgling Fledgen. Cool. Let's uh, head home. See if there's anything new about the knights, perhaps. Research 100 more to unlock duplication. So if you were to get, like, let's say 100 more, or what if we just do potion research? Can we do this? Oh no, we have to have, okay, so you have to have at least however many it says to in order to duplicate it. So if we want research 100 more to duplicate. Okay, so let's just do that. Alright, so now we've unlocked that duplication. Now we can just do this whenever we want. And bam, infinite building materials, which is uh, really cool. So yeah, this has just been an overview of the... Terraria 1.4 update, the journey mode at least. I'm going to make more in the future. This is just a quick one, just so I can get it out there. Uh, there's new trees, new everything. This is, I'm not sure if this is just a glitch in the world, this little tree thing over here, but it might be considering there wasn't any room, there wasn't a room down here, so maybe they moved it up here just for easier access. Also it might be, you know, just a journey mode world gen thing. Ooh, these trees are really cool. So maybe in the next, uh, few videos I'll investigate the other features but uh yeah thank you for watching if you enjoyed make sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel for new Terraria content like this pretty much every day or uh yeah <clears throat> and with that I'm out have a nice day thank you for watching bye